Right, nearly a smooth ending. I'm Ben, welcome back to Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. It's part two of our Electric Guitars for Acoustic Guitarists series, mini series, this is only two parts, how about that? Um, you will have already seen the video where we, you know, where we did parlor guitars and mid-size kind of OM size guitars. If you haven't, there's a link below. I recommend you watch that as well. After or before this, it doesn't really matter. If you missed it though, what we're talking about is um, a very, very subjective and opinionated view on electric guitars that I think acoustic guitarists might like. If they are unfamiliar with electric guitars or are just wanting to experiment with playing electric guitars, um, it's 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 like I, I kind of I think last in the last video I, I compared it to pairing wines with food. I can come up with another terrible analogy, but basically, if you normally play a guitar like this, which is a D28, I think you might like a guitar like this, which is a Fender Telecaster. And I will tell you why after I've played a little bit on the D28. So, the first large acoustic guitar that we are looking at today is the Martin D28. It is a classic, obviously. Um, this is the, you know, this is the D28 reimagined. I think it's got the spruce top, the rosewood back and sides. It's a beast of a guitar. Um, I'm going to play a little bit on it and then I'm going to explain why I think this and the Telecaster are a really good match, okay? So this is a D28. I was deliberately playing that with very little uh, in the way of actual kind of finesse, basically. I wanted to play it loud because the thing that appeals to me about the Telecaster in relation to the D28 and, you know, kind of other large dreadnoughts with spruce tops is the attack of the note, okay? To me, the Telecaster has a very similar feel to a, to a D28. Like, if you're doing some fast, kind of heavy picking, on a D28, it's got a very fast attack. You can really lay into it and really dig in and play quite loud and quite hard, and it doesn't kind of collapse into itself like some other acoustic guitars do. The same thing with the Telecaster. If you tried playing some of the kind of fast, real, you know, picky, twangy stuff on a guitar like a, like a Strat, say, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't quite work in the same way. It doesn't feel the same. Whereas a Telecaster has got a very similar feel to um, a classic Dreadnought. And I'm going to show you. So I just did some very loud picking on that. So I'm back on the telly. I'm going to, let's just play some of the stuff like I was just playing on the D28. I'll show you what I mean about the attack, okay? So do some of that kind of heavy rhythm style picking. So. <laughs> There's a reason, there's a reason that you see Telecasters and D28s together in country bands and that's because they sound great. But it is that thing of, of how the note kind of blooms from the instrument. And I think with the Telecaster and a Dreadnought, it's particularly evident and I think it's a really good pairing between the two. However, some people don't like Telecasters. Those people are wrong, but they, <laughs> but they do exist. So I thought I'd pick another little guitar that's coming a little bit out of left field as another pairing with the D28. And that is this, which is the Gretsch. I'm gonna to switch to it now, and we'll see how that sounds. So, my wild card for a guitar to pair with the D28 is this, which is the Gretsch Electromatic Double Jet. In shell pink, this one, limited edition. Nice, huh? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna play it a little bit. The reason I like this one, and the reason I chose it, is because, mainly because of the pickups, right? It's got Filtrons in. If you're not familiar with Filtrons, they are um, tonally, to my ears, they sit kind of halfway between a, a humbucker and a single coil. These ones seem nice and bright, which is what I wanted really, because it's you know going up against the D28, which has got that spruce top and the brightness, but also it's got quite a lot of mid-range honk in it. So I'm just gonna play some stuff on it and see what you reckon, all right? So. 
What key should we do this one in? How about A? Um... There we go. <laughs> I need to get better at stopping loops, don't I? There we, so the, the, with the Gretsch, you get um, you get the Gretsch thing, which, like I said, is kind of it, it's got elements of the Telecaster in it, but also it's veering towards uh, the kind of more Les Pauli side of things, which we're going to come to next with this side, which is about the J45. So let's look at that. Right then. Last but by no means least in our large acoustic guitars and electric guitars that you might like if you like those large acoustic guitars category. How's that for a clickbait title? Um, <laughs> we have the J45. Now, a lot of you may be going, well, you've already done a D28, Ben. Why are you bothering doing a J45 as well? It's because they're very different beasts. The J45 and the D28 are similar but different. I hadn't really played J45s till I started working at Anderton's, and now I've played loads of them, and I love them. They're my favourite big-bodied acoustic guitars. They have a warmth to them and a general niceness. This is the Slash edition. Um, I believe we've done a video on this. I know we've done a video on this. There'll be a link below and all the specs. It's basically just the J45, though, except it's got Slash's name on it, and it's red. Um, <laughs> But it is, to all intents and purposes, just a really nice J45. I'm going to play it and then explain why I've chosen these two guitars as the perfect accompaniment to them. All right, so the J45. <laughs> So there we have it, that's the J45. Again, it's like the D28, it's a big sound, right? It's got lots of bass, but it's got a slightly shorter scale length. And to my ears, it has more of the kind of rich mid-range stuff that I really enjoy. Um, for some things that's not appropriate, but for, for a lot of the stuff that I play, I really like it. Now, because I mentioned mid-range, You'll notice that I've got two options here. I'm going to start with the classic. So, option one is this. Now, I've chosen, uh, this is a Heritage uh, guitar, but it's very obviously inspired by the classic Les Paul design. In fact, Heritage guitars, if you're not familiar with them, and I know that um, Lee and Pete have done a load of videos on here about Heritage stuff. Heritage, the company, I believe, was founded by guys who used to work at Gibson, and when Gibson relocated, 
they basically bought the factory and all the machines and all the stuff and they were the staff that used to make Gibsons and then they carried on making Gibson style designs on the original Gibson machines but under the heritage brand name okay so when I went to look around the shop earlier to pick an electric guitar to match with the J45 I tried a few Les Pauls and I tried some other bits and pieces and I tried this heritage and I love it <laughs> so there there's links uh, with all the details and the specs below but to all intents and purposes it's a Les Paul style guitar obviously so the reason I think it pairs well with the J45 if you like a J45 already is that mid-range thing whereas on the D28 you've got the more the kind of the, the busier top end the high frequency stuff is really cutting through and doing that that work which you want it to do so the Telecaster or the Gretsch make a good match for something a little warmer but that's still got the option to bite and just kind of pump away as a good rhythm instrument. It's a Les Paul, right? So let's try, uh, let's try something on this. Again, I'm just going straight into the DP40 for this. No effects or anything apart from the looper. That doesn't really count though, does it? So. <laughs> To me, it sits in a similar kind of tonal wheelhouse to the J45. Um, so if, you're, if you like a J45 as an acoustic player, you'll probably like a Les Paul. I mean, they're very much from the same stable apart from anything, aren't they? As is this, which is kind of my wild card that's not really that wild, um, but it is another option. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to it right now. So last, but by no means least, for my pick, for a guitar to complement the J45. We've got this, which is actually the Sire Larry Carlton H7. Um, again, it's very heavily inspired by a Gibson design. It's very close, obviously, to the Gibson 335, which is what Larry Carlton is famous for using. Um, but it's just, it's a, the Sire's version of that. It's a killer guitar. I know there was a shootout recently and this came very, very highly <laughs> in terms of rankings which is kind of why I chose it. I've not played one before today, but it's killer, like really good. Um, it's got a different mid-range thing to the Les Paul, but it's still got that kind of characteristic 335 style sound, which again, if you're into the J45 tonality, you might enjoy. I'm gonna play some stuff on it because it's super fun. Uh, and, and, and that's what I like to do.
<laughs> I may have got a bit carried away there because this guitar is super fun and I want one. But um, <laughs> I hope that has been useful in some way, shape or form for uh, giving you something to think about. If you're, if, you're, if you're an acoustic guitarist looking for an electric guitar or if you're an electric guitarist looking for an acoustic guitar that you might like and you're not sure and you think, well, I better get a D28 because that's what everyone plays. But actually, if you're a J45 player or a parlor player, a different type of electric guitar might suit you better. Uh, it might not, of course. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Do click like and subscribe. Um, if you enjoy me playing electric guitars, that's great because I enjoy playing electric guitars and that's fun. Um, if you think I should stick to acoustics and stay in my lane, then that's fine too. But... Uh, it's been a lot of fun doing some electric stuff. I've had fun, I've enjoyed it. I'm gonna play out on this because it's great fun to play. Uh, it's Anderton's TV, I've been Ben. It's been a pleasure. I'm all, I'm all giddy now because I've got to play electric guitars. So I'm not normally allowed. <laughs> <laughs>